Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving the problem. Let me first of all read out the problem. The radius of gyration of a body about an axis at a distance of 4 cm from the center of mass is 5 cm. The radius of gyration of the parallel axis passing through the center of mass is how much? That's the problem. So the first thing that what we need to know is what do you mean by this the radius of gyration? So it is about moment of inertia. You know moment of inertia of any body is a parameter to tell how difficult it is or how easy it is to rotate a body or how much torque is required to rotate a body. It's mathematically found using the concept like sigma mr square that is mass of each particle has to be identified, distance of each particle r from the axis of rotation has to be identified, r square has to be done, it has to be multiplied with mass of that each particle that becomes moment of inertia of each particle. Like that each particle will have its own moment of inertia. So moment of inertia of the body is summation of moment of inertia of all that particles. So it's mathematically definitely a, a little lengthy process to do. Say for example, we have determined using a concept like integration, sigma m r square. Say for example, I'm just giving you an example. For a spherical disk, spherical body or a sphere about an axis passing through its diameter moment of inertia is 2 by 5 m r square we can say assuming that this is the sphere this is the axis. Moment of inertia is 2 by 5 m r square. The other way of saying that is, we can say from the axis, entire mass is concentrated at a distance from the axis of rotation. That distance where the mass appears to be concentrated from the axis of rotation is called radius of gyration. That means I can also write moment of inertia as mk square. That implies in this case 2 by 5 mr square equal to mk square. So 2 by 5 r square equal to k square. So k equal to root of 2 by 5 times of r. That means at this point from the axis of rotation the entire mass of the sphere appears to be focused about which the body is in rotational motion. That's the meaning of radius of gyration and we also have discussed in the previous video lessons that if you know moment of inertia about the center of mass axis we can find the moment of inertia of the same body about a parallel axis using the parallel axis theorem. If this is an axis passing through center and if I know the moment of inertia as Ig, I center of gravity, if I have to calculate the moment of inertia about a parallel axis I where the separation between them is some r as per the parallel axis theorem I equal to Ig plus assuming the mass of the body is m, m r square. I have proved this in this video lessons of the daily rotational dynamics. Please go through that if you are not aware of the proof. Now I can write this i g i in terms of radius of gyration. I will write i as m k square. I will write i g as m kg square. I mean to say kg is the radius of gyration 
from the axis passing to center of gravity k is the radius of gyration of the same body from the axis who is parallel to ig but at a certain distance r plus m r square all ends can be cancelled k square equal to kg square plus r square now it is given the radius of gyration of the body about an axis at a distance of 4 cm from the center of mass we mean to say r is 4 cm is 5 cm we mean to say k is 5 cm is asking you kg is how much well, it's pretty simple to do and just substitute in the formula k square that is 5 square equal to kg square i have to find out plus r square is 4 square so 25 equal to kg square plus 16 kg square is 25 minus 16 that is 9 that implies kg equal to 3 centimeter that is moment of inertia of the same body about an axis passing through center of gravity can be expressed in terms of radius of gyration m kg square where kg is nothing but equal to 3 centimeter that's it thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons Thank you.